In this lecture, uh, it is a continuation of the first lecture of the Norton theorem, and I will discussing about the um, two main two more problems in this lecture. So uh, let's see the problems. So here is the first question. Um, find out the current through eight ohm resistance. Eight ohm means uh, the terminal A and B using the Norton's theorem. Okay, in the previous lecture, uh, I was telling about uh, the steps of the Norton's theorem. You need to find first the RTH and then the I, uh, IN Norton's current through the um, circuit, whichever you uh, want to calculate uh, through this where IL. I n means Norton's current, and then draw the final uh, equivalent circuit of the Norton's uh, Norton theorem from the Norton theorem, and find the current, the actual current through the A B. Okay, so we need to first uh, draw the current. No, we need to first draw the R T circuit. Okay, so here answer, and in the R T circuit. I uh, obviously told you that uh, the um, uh, sources are eliminated voltage sources by short circuit and the current sources by open circuit. So here is the diagram. We eliminate the 10 volt source and draw the 20 ohm and uh, AB and the 30 volt source are parallel so we can move the uh, we can move the positions so it is more easier to calculate 10 ohm and we moved the ab terminal to the end line so it is easier rth we eliminate the uh, uh, 10 volt source from this where and we eliminate the 30 volt source from this where and now calculate the RTH from the AB terminal the 10 and 20 are in parallel obviously uh, 10 is parallel with 20 okay so it is 10 into 20 by 10 plus 20 is equals to 30 20 by 3 it is 6.67 ohm it is the RTH of the circuit okay so now we need to find so now we need to calculate the uh, IN uh, to calculate the IN draw the full circuit as it remains it is 10 volt here is 20 ohm it is 10 volt uh, and the position is all also moved to this where it is 30 volt and this is 10 ohm and here is the AB terminals and to calculate the I n means not on current we need to uh, short circuited the AB terminal and the current through the AB terminal is called the Norton's current IN okay it is 10 pretty nasty it is 10 uh, it is also 10 ohm, 10 ohm. it is uh, 30 volt I n so assume that the total current is I uh, so this is I minus I n okay so we need to uh, find the I n uh, I am usually applying the KVL okay this is easier for me and uh, this circuit this is I also so what is 
KVL applying KVL the voltage the loop outs from the plus side of the uh, 10 volt source so it is plus plus 10 in this 30 volt it is also the loop also passes out from the uh, plus terminal so it is also plus uh, from the 10 ohm from the 10 ohm the loop direction and the current direction is same so it is minus minus 10 into i minus i n and also the current direction and the loop direction is same from the 20 ohm resistance so it is also minus minus 20 i is equals to zero so um equation um, gives out the equation from this 10 plus 30 uh, why i am calculating this okay so 10 plus 30 uh, 40 minus 10 i plus 10 i n minus 20 i is equals to 0 so it is the equation is 10 i n minus 30 i is equals to minus 40 so we can write it like that ki 3 i minus i n is equals to 4 this is the first condition uh, this is the first equation and find the second equation also in the second loop okay so we need to find the second equation uh, i am drawing uh, drawing the circuit one second mm -hmm. in the second equation the loop out from the minus side of the 30 volt so it is minus 30 and the loop direction and the current direction is opposite so it is obviously plus it is plus uh, 10 into i minus i n is equals to 0 so here it is 10 i minus 10 i n is equals to 30 so we got our equation is equals to i minus i n is equals to 3 it is the second equation we got and what is the first is first equation it is 3i minus i n so you can calculate uh, the i n easily from that uh, 3 i n 3 i minus i n and it is i minus i n 3 i minus i n written that 3 i minus i n is equals to 4 and i minus i n is equals to 3 i minus i n is equals to 3 so um, you can eliminate it also 3 uh, uh, multiply by the second so we can get directly the i n it is 3 it is 3 and it is what it is 9 multiplying the uh, multiplying 3 by the second equation okay so we can directly eliminate the i okay it is minus eliminate the i 2 i n is equals to 5 i n is equals to 5 by 2 what is 5 by 2 it is 2.5 ampere we got our i n and finally draw the equivalent circuit okay so what is the equivalent circuit this is the i n it is parallel to the r t h it is i n uh, direction 
can draw it later it is a and b and uh, in the question what was in the a b in the a v here is the eight oh home so we need to draw the eight oh home in the final circuit to calculate the current through the eight ohm it is i and what is the direction of the i n we got our i n positive so so we assume the direction of i n same so it is in that direction okay so i n is in that direction now calculate the i what is the formula of i i n into parallel resistance what is uh, in parallel with the 8 ohm means from the i current uh, passes what is in parallel with i it is rth it is rth again the parallel one plus the current passes through what resistance it is 8 so you can find the uh, value easily it is 2.5 and what is our rth it is 6.67 it is 6.67 plus 8 okay you got your i so it is the answer so move up to the next so question in the question in this question we need to find the current through one ohm resistance by not on student means one ohm is here so at first you point the terminals between one ohm is a and b is a and b okay and then find the rth as usual first find the rth so here is the answer uh, trying the different colors okay to finding the rth we need to eliminate the voltage sources and current sources i repeatedly told you that but we see that here is a current source and a voltage source at first uh, we am doing it here at first i am uh, converting this current source into a voltage source uh, i am uh, familiar with the same sources in a circuit and also i am familiar with the voltage source so i convert if there is a current source present i convert it into a voltage source at first okay but if there are all the current sources i uh, do not convert the all current sources into voltage sources okay uh, this is a small circuit so i can convert this current source into voltage source mm, so it is easier for me you can do with the current sources it's your choice also okay so we convert the volt current source to a voltage source it is 15 ampere to this in this direction and it is 2 ohm to convert the voltage source it is 15 into 2 means it is 30 volt okay and it is in this direction current flows from the minus side to positive uh, minus side um, negative side to positive side so it is the positive one okay and the uh, resistance is uh, series in series with the uh, voltage sources so it is 2 it is in series and it is the 1 ohm resistance a and b terminals and here I told you that that a resistance is always in series with the voltage terminal voltage sources and a resistance is always in parallel with the current sources if you see 
anywhere if you see anywhere a uh, uh, resistance is in parallel with the voltage source you can strictly neglect that okay and if you see there is a um, resistance in the series with the current source you stri strictly neglect it okay so in this circuit i will neglect the 3 ohm resistance okay no existence it is here it is no use of 3 ohm if you calculate it then here is no use of 3 ohm you can get so directly neglect it here is the 20 volt okay so we convert it to a source and here it is the one ohm so first drawn the circuit of rth so in rth we need to eliminate so we eliminate the 30 volt source and uh, draw the resistance the resistance is 2 obviously ohm and here it is a here it is b and we eliminate the source also so between the it is very easy between the ab terminals we can see that is the rth is 2 directly okay so in the next page so now now we calculate the in through the ab means norton's current we need to calculate the norton's current now at first draw the whole circuit without the ab terminals resistance okay so it is 30 ohm 30 volt we convert it and here is a resistance it is 2 ohm resistance and here is a here is b it is the 20 volt it is the 20 volt okay so we can apply the Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law but here is no need to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law we can directly find the current through the AB circuit and short circuited the AB it is the IN here total current is also IN so IN is equals to V by R we can see that R is 2 and what is the V we can see it is plus it is minus it is plus it is minus the plus side is connected to the plus side and the minus side is connected to the minus side so the same polarity connects to the uh, the same polarity connects so the voltage sources is will the minus if it is minus and it is plus the opposite polarity connects then it is plus okay so here it is minus 30 minus 20 the equivalent voltage from this circuit it is 30 minus 20 it is 10 means 5 ampere the Norton's current is 5 ampere at last we need to draw the final equivalent circuit and what is the equivalent circuit it is i n draw a resistance means it is rth in parallel it is a and b and draw the resistance of a b whichever give in the question uh, what is the question uh, here is one ohm resistance so we need to put the 1 ohm resistance is here it is 1 ohm 
and it is rth and it is in what is the direction of in we assume the direction in this it means in this and we got the answer in plus so we assume the right direction so it is indirect in that direction in this direction and the current passes through the one ohm is i which we need to calculate okay so it is i what is i n i n is 5 5 into what is rth rth is 2 so it is the uh, what is in the upper portion the current we calculate um, the resistance is in parallel with which we calculate the current okay so it is rth and again the parallel resistance and then finally the current passes through what resistance it is 1 it is easy 5 into 2 by 3 you can calculate it 10 by 3 it is 3.33 ampere and here is the current through 1 ohm resistance by Norton's theorem I hope you can understand the lecture um, if you don't understand it um, purely then please follow the uh, first lecture of the Norton's theorem I am discussing the I am discussing the Norton's theorem step by step discussing the Norton's theorem step by step in this lecture also but uh, previous lectures I discussing the Norton's theorem in the briefly so uh, and in the upcoming lectures I also covered the topics of the DC theorem like the uh, star delta theorem I will cover that topic and um, I hope you can understand this lecture and if you like the lectures of ours please hit the like button and comment down the below if, if you have any doubt the instagram handle uh, given in the comment box I mean in the uh, description box you can ask me in the instagram or in the comment box if you like our videos please subs to our channel okay see ya have a good day